What is up, Ivory Gang? In today's video, we're going to be doing some cage upgrades for some of the babies. Of course, we're going to be feeding some snakes. We got some piglets thawing out right here. And last but not least, we're going to be doing a mukbang with blue. The now monitor, we got some ground turkey, some shrimp, and some tilapia. And I have like a rat pinky for him. We're going to see what he will choose to eat first. I'm not sure. So we're going to give him some options. Let's get straight to it. No need to talk anymore. Sheesh. Here she goes. Here she goes. She is definitely hungry. Let's see if she takes it. And. He's trying to see what he smells. He's checking out the plate on the plate. Let's see, what he's for. Let's see that's a brown turkey he's right in front of. I'm actually upgrading his lighter too. I got him a brand new bulb. Brand new. Bulb. So this right here is Black Jack's cage, the Agent Four Scorpion. We're actually gonna be taking her out of here and moving her into this. I just like the look of it. And I think I'll be able to be, you know, a little bit more decorative with this. So she's gonna swap into here. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Um, I'm gonna pretty much explain after why I set it up the way I set it up. And then we'll put her in there and see if she likes it. With that being said, let's get straight to it. So you guys got the chance to see the time lapse now. This is Blackjack, an Asian four scorpion. Um, she's not going to get too much bigger than this. She has had babies one time by herself. If you guys didn't know that they can have babies one time by themselves without a male. And we're going to go ahead and put her in her new little house. As you guys can check that out, I just, you know, really wanted her to be more comfortable. And I wanted something a little bit more realistic. So um, this is the end result. She has her little hide right here. A bunch of moss and ABG. It's a mix with a few different soils. So we're gonna put the top on and pretty much seal the deal on her. That's pretty much it. I might get like a light to sit at the top um, just to give her a little bit of a more aesthetically pleasing house. With that being said, we still got the frog to do, so I'm gonna do that really quick. And this is the beginning right here, or what it looks like now. I wanna change a few things around up in here, give it a more um, naturalistic look as well. So, Blackjack is done, now it's time for Dojo, and Dojo's hiding under here. So Dojo's gonna be kinda hard to see, but you can see Dojo a little bit right there, just hanging out right there. All right, so let's get Dojo out the way, and, um. Yeah, we still got a lot of action, but sheesh. Now is the time we feed Banana Put in this piglet right here. You guys don't understand. She is absolutely huge coming across this floor. Oh my God. Here she goes. Here she goes. She is definitely hungry. Let's see if she takes it. And oh my gosh, look at the grip that she has on there. Oh my gosh, we'll go ahead and get her to wrap this up a little bit more. Give it a nice tug, make her think that it's alive. And bam, look at that right there. Look at that mouth. Look how big that mouth is. Look at the teeth, you can see her teeth at the bottom. So man, this is incredible. We're gonna give her another one because this piglet is pretty small, but that was incredible. Dinner is about to be served to Blue the Now Monitor. Let me know. Right now, what you think he's gonna take first? Of course, we got shrimp, some ground turkey, a rat fuzzy, and tilapia. Now, before I give this to him, I'm actually gonna sprinkle uh, the tilapia, the shrimp, and the ground turkey with some calcium to make sure he still gets the multivitamins and all that stuff that he needs. So make sure you don't forget that part. But like I said, comment down below what you think he's gonna take first. We're gonna offer it to him just like this. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit and then we're gonna see what he goes for. It's going to be pretty exciting because he's never eaten any of this stuff before. So he's going to be like, what is this? Let's get straight to it. Sheesh. There you go, Blue. Let's see what he takes. All right, my guy. All right, so now he's pretty much 
walking up to it. it looks like he's trying to see what he smells he's checking out the plate i don't think he's ever seen a plate before let's see that's a ground turkey he's right in front of see if he takes a chunk out of it oh my god he did look at that guy get some of that ground turkey let's see if he chooses anything else or if he stays there my god oh okay my guy go ahead go ahead Dojo, let me grab Dojo. Hold on, Dojo. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, Dojo. Whoa, 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 Dojo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we got him. All right, so this is Dojo the Pixie Frog, and he got, or she got, I'm not really sure to be honest with you. Do a close, we're gonna drop him or her in the water and check that out. Sojo literally almost blends in with that moss, all right? Dojo even has a little hide right there. And if you guys don't know, Pixie Frogs like to borrow, so it's nice. And it's deep enough for Dojo to do that if that's what Dojo chooses to do. So Dojo's all set up, all ready to go. We'll go ahead and put the top on here for Dojo. That's two done. The last one to go is the tarantula, but that's going to be really, really quick. We're going to set that up really fast. Um, get the tarantula. Oh, look at Dojo. Dojo in the can right there. Look how beautiful Dojo looking at new enclosure, man. I think Dojo is really going to enjoy it. And like I said, we got the last cage to set up. Um, which is the tarantula. I might or might not show it. I might just show the end result, to be honest with you, just so we can hurry up on time and get to the feeding. Still got Rocky, banana pudding. We still got the baby pies. It's a lot of stuff still to do. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Do that right now. Matter of fact, turn your post notifications on right now if you like the video so far, which I know you would because, uh, you know, it's the Black Ivy and all his friends, pets, reptiles, all that stuff. So turn on your post notifications. So you guys, let me say this before I feed this baby pie. If you do not like live feedings, this is your chance to leave the video, skip the video, whatever the case, whatever you need to do. Um, I don't really like live feedings a lot, but with baby snakes, we want to build confidence. So we want the baby snake to know that it is strong, it's powerful, and that it is a snake at the end of the day. And they do happen to eat rodents, all right? This is a feeder rodent. It was bred in captivity specifically to feed the snakes. And the reason that I'm able to feed this little baby feeder rodent to this snake um, is because the eyes are still closed. It doesn't really have um, too big of teeth to hurt the snake. So we're going to give the snake a little bit of time to realize it's here. I'll go ahead and put it in front. This little baby should take it. Um, we'll see right now. Shouldn't take it too long. We're just waiting for some tongue flicks for the snake to realize it's there. And it looks like she has realized it's somewhere. She's not sure exactly where. Um, I'm going to help her out just a little bit, scooting this little rat up and giving her a chance to see it a little bit faster. Um, and we'll see what she does. Hopefully, she takes it here pretty soon. Now, mind you, this baby is still very, very small. I haven't had too, too many meals. This is honestly this baby's third meal. So let's see. She smells it. She knows it's close. She knows it's right there. Her heart is beating. Her belly, you can see her belly pulsating from the intensity. And let's see, there, that's it, sweetheart. Go ahead. And I think she's about to go for it right about. Go ahead, sweetheart. You got it. You got it. You got it. See, this is where we want to build that confidence. We want her to get it instantly. Not saying nothing but you know, is wrong with her taking her time, but she's still figuring out what it is. Look at her taking a little time. She's like, what is this? What is this? I can eat. Yes, this is food, sweetheart. Now, she might not get it. I'm not sure if she doesn't, it's not really a big deal, but she is certainly interested. So we'll see what happens. I might have to hold it up in front of her. Um, then sometimes that, that little bitty change is all that makes a difference. We'll see, we'll give her another shot to figure it out. 
You got it, sweetheart? All right, so we're going to help this girl out. And this is that confidence building that I mean. So let me go ahead and grab my tongue so we can help her out real quick. This might make all the difference if I hold it in front of her and let her get it to dangle just a little bit. See if we can invoke her to strike. Come on, sweetheart. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Come on. Come on. You got it. Go ahead. You got it. Go ahead. She's not really sure. She's kind of like, I don't really know what to do. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to grab it on the side. Here you go, sweetheart. Yeah, this is food. Yeah. Go ahead. There we go. Literally, I told you, that's all it takes sometimes is just to help them out. And this is what we want. We want her to be very, very confident in eating. We want her to understand that she can grab it, constrict it quickly, because we want her to understand that she does not have all day. Snakes are very opportunistic feeders. And um, this is the end result. So you definitely gotta be patient. So work on your patience if you're gonna keep reptiles. And bam, we got what we needed. With that being said, it is now time for Rocky and banana pudding this little girl we're gonna put her back and let her enjoy her little you know ratatouille and we're gonna call that that let's move on sheesh Child, so ruben my camera guy is about to feed banana pudding bro how you feeling g man i'm nervous as fuck. <laughs> we're gonna see bro let's see how good you do bro hopefully hopefully she give you that signature strike man hopefully she give it to you let's see sheesh Child, check this out today I'm gonna be feeding this giant Burmese python, this little piglet. Y'all check this out. I'm so focused on the snake, I don't even. It's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. So it is very, very important that people understand Whenever they see one of my snakes eating a rabbit, a pig, or even a lamb, that that animal was still born, which means it was born dead. It was never alive, and it was just donated or recycled to me from the local farm or my local reptile store, which gets them from the local farm. And here, banana pudding is enjoying a piglet, all right? So keep that in mind. It's very important. I know a lot of people think it's extremely sad, but it is the way of life. And a big snake that's 70 pounds like banana pudding, she definitely, definitely, you know, she takes big meals. And this is where the pigs and the rabbits and stuff like that come into play. Um, because rats just don't cut it for her anymore. They're just way too small. And here she is, I mean, enjoying herself a nice piglet. Uh, she seems to be having a pretty easy time. She's actually gonna be eating two of these. And with that being said, man, make sure you guys keep that in mind because I know a lot of the comments are crazy about me feeding my snakes and a lot of people just don't understand why or where I get these animals from that I feed to the snakes. So I just wanna let you guys know that. So if you see any crazy comments or anything like that, or if you, you know, was wondering in your mind uh, why I feed them what I feed them, that's pretty much why. In the meantime, we're gonna continue to enjoy this big, beautiful girl. Look at that. Oh, look at her mouth. She's full of pig. She's almost done too. So, you know, she's making it happen, all right? With that being said, we still got Rocky, and uh, hopefully he takes the rabbit. I have a rabbit for him. I was gonna give him the pig, but I decided to give her both the pigs and him the rabbit. So, can't wait to show y'all that guy next. Sheesh. This is Rocky, he's a Burmese python. I have a rabbit for him, and look how he moves his body to come get it. And I think he really wants this rabbit. Let's see if we can get a good strike out of him. Come on, Rocky, go ahead, my guy. Look at that strike. And I'm gonna give it just a couple tugs just so he can wrap it up. Look at how tight he's constricting it. You can barely put my finger in there. He got it perfect. This meal is at least gonna last him for about two weeks. That's gonna be time to feed him again. That's pretty much the end of the video, but I am gonna show him eating the entire rabbit through a time lapse. So make sure you stick around for that. It's coming up. With that being said, man, make sure you like this video. Comment if you've seen something you like, but please turn on your post notifications. That's the most important thing. So you can be notified when I post another crazy video like this. And this dude is already starting to, he's figured out that it's not alive. He only eats frozen thoughts. So since he's starting to, you know, pretty much start to swallow this, I'm gonna go ahead and get that time lapse started. Black Ivy, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Happy Thanksgiving, man. See y'all in the next one. Sheesh!